Nefletata. And she's got potatoes as the base. Use potatoes as the base, and then I add. I see carrots. I carrots. Add carrots and red peppers and onions. Mm hmm. Yeah. Right now you're putting olive oil on it. Yeah, I just dumped some olive oil on it. Good. Um, okay, a little bit of sea salt. It looks like a lot of salt. Sea salt, it's not as salty mm -hmm. as regular salt. Garlic. Garlic? Yeah, I just, I mean, we do Mrs. Dash too. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to be a salt replacement, but I use it as my strong seasoning, as you mm -hmm. can see. Okay. Oh, I have that at home. I mean, you could do whatever you want in it. Mm hmm. It's just. Do it over something because I lose them all the time. I like Mrs. Dash. <laughs> you should see when I when I go to put the eggs in here, it's gonna be very dashed. Mm. I just think it whoa. I just think it adds that would have been really garlicky. Mm -hmm. <laughs> adds a little extra oomph to it. So it Alright, my pan, my oven is up at like 400. Yeah, so you bake These it at 400? These are the ceramic pans, those mm -hmm. the metal handles that can go in the oven. Yes. It's only got a couple little scratches on it so far, so it's still pretty good. Okay. It's kind of a... Yeah, glad you went for the big one, because... Mm -hmm. uh, it's uh, more than it looked like. Mm-hmm. He's not real fond of carrots. Hmm. She used to attack him with carrots or something. I like carrots. I like carrots too. Yes, I use my hands. Hmm. Okay. Going into the oven? Oops. And you, you say it's how many degrees you bake it at? I just throw it at 45 for. No, uh, 400 for 45. 400 degrees for 45 minutes. And then I pull it and I, I'll use, I'll crack the eggs in this bowl mm -hmm. and season them up, get them ready to go, pull it at 45 minutes, to make sure it looks mostly done, mm -hmm. pour the egg mix on and then cook for another 15, 20 minutes depending on how big and fluffy and everything is. I'll probably use in there, 10 to 12 eggs. So it takes a lot of eggs. Well, the way I make it, it does. So this mm -hmm. isn't really a real like recipe from a book. It was mm -hmm. just sort of, wait, if I put potatoes and I cook them and then I, mm -hmm. just what have happened. I add these same seasonings to here mm -hmm. and I use the same seasonings in the dressing I make. Okay. It's just like it's salt, pepper, garlic powder, and Mrs. Dash. Yeah. I like this meal because it can serve like one bowl, mm -hmm. one. Yes. And Larry's big with that. He doesn't like to get dirty a lot when he's cooking, or yeah. when I'm cooking. And I mean, this, they, yeah. need to, they need the calcium to make eggs. more eggs. Yeah. Okay. They need to count. In the refrigerator. Right. Knock it up a little bit, and I'm going to throw it in the fridge. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Smell season. Okay. I, my thought process is, well, the eggs are going to go in and get any, everywhere in there. Mm -hmm. It seems like you're overdoing the seasoning, but... I'm doing the same thing I always do, and it's usually pretty good. Usually okay, so. Very self-conscious cooker. I am. <laughs> Very much so. Okay, so you got. Was that both pepper in, in the pepper mills? Uh, salt mill. Salt mill. This is. Uh, 
Actually, this isn't sea salt. This is pink Himalayan salt. So okay. it has more minerals in it. The eggs ready. All whipped up again. And, and the potatoes and everything have been cooking for 45 minutes. And I could just eat them that way. <laughs> yeah, do not touch. Do not touch. Do not touch. Do not touch. Okay. Because you really want to grab that handle. No. I know. I, I, I've almost done it a couple of times. And you're putting in your dozen eggs. Put in a dozen eggs. And then I just sort of shove things around and make sure that the eggs are getting all the way to the bottom. Mm -hmm. Trying not to scratch my pan, but these pans are supposed to be able to handle a little bit of metal touching them. You want a different? You want a, you know, a plastic spoon? Yeah, that's fine. And, oh, that looks very nice. Just looks Even heavy. Out. Yeah, I'm going to need assistance with the door. This is always his job. Mm -hmm. Well, he should actually did all that work. Hopefully you like it extra done because he cooked through in mm -hmm. 17 minutes. And, and here it is. Mm, let me num num. make your own salad dressing. Yeah. That way I know what's in it. Mm-hmm. And I don't, I mean, usually if I'm just having a salad, I like French. Mm-hmm. But this, you don't want French on this. You want mm -hmm. uh, something different. I like, we put honey in it so it has mm -hmm. some sweet. seems like a lot. And it's going to probably be sweeter than you like. I like sweet. Okay. Because I usually go about half oil, half honey. Mm-hmm. Same four seasonings that are my go to. Mm -hmm. These are my four go to's mm -hmm. that I do most often. Did that garlic this yet? Let's do an instant replay. <laughs> I don't think so. if it's too garlicky. Hmm. Does it keep vampires away or something? What's garlic supposed to keep up? Some kind of critter. Garlic vampires. Okay. That'll just sit out there for getting ready. Okay. And we're done. And Tomatoes are all chopped up and ready to go. Mm -hmm. These are the garden tomatoes on one side and the store-bought tomato over here. Mm -hmm. The red pepper is chopped up and I'll bring out the carrots and the cucumber mm -hmm. for anybody who wants to do a proper salad. Okay. The dressings separated again, but that's okay. Mm -hmm. Just shake it back up and be fine. Really a bizarre feeling. Mm -hmm. I use this little container because it's just the right size. One cup of water, three tablespoons chia seeds. Okay. Put it in the refrigerator overnight and let them swell. Mm -hmm. And they turn into, it's almost caviar. The seed, a coating around the seed swells up. Mm -hmm. So they're you can see they're kind of bunched up down here mm -hmm. where they didn't um, 
integrate. And you can kind of see the, the mm -hmm. jelliness. I'll let you try, try to lift it to a check. She's like, oh my gosh, what are you getting me? Well, I know Dr. Oz recommended dark cherry juice. It's this is and dark I, cherry juice. And I couldn't find it anywhere. <laughs> uh, this is just from Kroger. It's just organic. It's going to be weird. Okay. But I think it's tasty. So it's water. There's one cup of our distilled water mm -hmm. cut with one cup of juice. So mm -hmm. you put the seed, I put the seeds in, I put the water in, I shake it up, I get it mm -hmm. going overnight. Next morning you can pull it out, add one cup. I know this is a two cup thing, so mm -hmm. add another cup of juice mm -hmm. and shake and enjoy. I guess you drink the seeds too. Yeah, the seeds, you can eat them, drink them whole. You can just swallow them down. I kind of munch some and swallow the rest. Your body can digest chia mm -hmm. seeds. It can't, like flaxseed, mm -hmm. your body can't, you'll just get rid of them the same way you take them in. But your body will digest chia seeds. It kind of reminds me of raspberries. It's, Something like that. Yeah, I, I like it. Now you go buy a bottle of that at the grocery store, mm -hmm. and it's like five to seven dollars for yeah. this much, mm -hmm. which is half of the batch that I've just made. I kind of like it. And these, I mean, you're welcome to take some more if you'd like. Mm -hmm. I think it's good. I got plenty of seeds. These are the same cute. chia seeds that you make chia heads with. Uh-huh. Who knew that they were actually healthy? Only Dr. Oz.